Hey everybody, recently on Reddit, I got a message posted on my subreddit with the question, why aren't you concerned about getting lean? Why do you maintain the body fat percentage that you do? And the only reason I'm answering this is because he says, I think you're incredibly knowledgeable and very strong. I hate to see your potential wasted. Thanks for quenching my curiosity. So... He seems very genuine, he's not trolling, so I'm gonna use this as an opportunity to talk about this issue. First of all, if I go to the beach, people will give me compliments about my body and I am always shocked because online I'm always getting generally negative comments or comments alluding to me being an average looking guy. Okay, and I understand that because online, uh, the camera tends to add, I don't know if you've heard this, tends to add like 10 pounds, especially if someone uses a wide screen lens. If the focal le length is wide, it tends to skew the body and stretch the body further apart. And I do have a moment lens on my phone, which causes the screen to be wider. So, in that scenario, I understand why I might look fat, even though I'm not really fat, guys, okay? But the question is, why am I not extremely lean? I personally have been very comfortable with my body. Five years ago, I used to make more shirtless videos than I do now because I've gotten so many bad comments over the time that I'm hyper aware of how I look on camera and I just don't want to deal with the negative comments so I rather wear a shirt okay the reason that I maintain the body fat percentage that I do is because I don't care about having a six pack all right I'm very happy with the amount of strength I'm gaining consistently you know, I'm working toward my one-arm pull-ups. I have a very strong front lever, which I... Not a full front lever, but it's getting closer. I'm working on my pike push-ups toward handstand push-ups. Like, all these things are progressing very well. And sure, if I lose 5, 10 pounds, yeah, all these things are going to be easier. But there is a certain level that I am naturally upkeeping. Not on purpose. It's just how I feel. After I have a workout, I want to eat my food. You know, I want my body to get the building blocks that it does. And I know that if I eat way too little, old injuries tend to pop up. And I've noticed this many times. Now, this might not be true for everyone. It's just for me, though. But And it limits how quickly I can diet. Recently, I started bicycling. And so this is my fourth week in. I started with five miles a ride this week. And last week, it's about 20 to 25 miles per ride. And I'm doing three rides a week. So I think just from that alone, because I haven't changed how much I eat, I'm naturally going to lose some pounds. And people are going to say that I look very strong. <laughs> I always notice this. Whenever I lose some fat more muscle definition appears and people think I am stronger than when I was before. Well, that may not necessarily be true. So, yes, I might look stronger because I have less fat over the muscles, but it doesn't necessarily mean that I have more muscles or that I am stronger. Okay? A lot of people will always correlate the two. But just because someone looks ripped doesn't mean that they are the strongest they can be. In fact, a lot of people maintain like a body fat percentage of 15 to 18 percent because it allows them to gain more muscle at a faster rate. It limits tissue breakdown and so but I do subconsciously do it for that reason because I do want to maximize my gains, okay? And will everything be easier? If I lose a few pounds, yes, of course they will, of course. Lo I would love to be leaner one day, but it's not a huge priority. 
And the reality is we fluctuate all the time. I have a log of my weight and I have my lighter seasons, heavier seasons, lighter seasons, heavier seasons. Everything is a cycle. Everything goes in phases. All of na everything in nature is cyclical. So in general, it is not my care to look a certain way. I've never been about looks like that superficially. I care more about getting strong in the meantime, having fun doing it, enjoying my life, okay? Another answer was on a decently muscled frame, 15% looks pretty athletic. I agree, it does. And then Melon Bubble T said, for most general athletes, maybe. However, in calisthenics and gymnastics, 15% body fat is quite fat. Okay, if you think it's fat, I'm fat, you're comparing me to some really ripped gymnast. Okay, yeah, I'm fat. What can I say? And then another person says, Ontronic is quite lean in my opinion. Maybe you are just idealizing about what a lean body actually is. You know, anytime I feel bad about how I look, like if I'm at a pool party, I realize that 95% of people around me are not, not only are they not trained, like they don't have muscle, but they're fat. Like I'm talking like they got bellies. So whenever I compare myself, whenever I feel down, I go, wait a second. No, I look really good compared to what most people look like. And then what you see online are these people who are extremely low body fat, like 8% body fat. And you know, honestly, like, do they maintain that body fat percentage their whole time? Or is that all you're seeing are the highlights? If someone you look up to who has no body fat, do you think they look that way after Thanksgiving dinner? <laughs> I don't know. Probably not. Okay, so... I hope that helps. It's a little bit of a ramble type video, but it's a complicated issue, so why not talk about it in a rambling sort of way, okay? Thanks for making the question, and I hope I answered it a bit, and I hope it quenched your curiosity, and that's it.